Hey, Mike Holt here, MikeHolt.com. It's an interesting topic here, and it's always debated around. I think we're going to make it real simple and clear. In a couple minutes, you're going to know exactly what the rule is. When is antioxidant required at aluminum wire terminations? What I'm talking about, I'm talking about that like paste that's placed sometimes under aluminum wire at terminals. So let's find out what the rules are about this. Number one, antioxidant is not required by the NEC. So 110.14a talks about termina termination of conductors, but and it recognizes that you could use this, but it's not required. Number two, antioxidant is not required by the terminal manufacturer. So Burn D or Ilsco, they do not sp say that you have to use an antioxidant when you're terminating aluminum wire. Now you can buy terminals that actually has the antioxidant paste the inside the terminals, like compression ones, but you know, but it's not required. Number three, antioxidant is not required by the aluminum wire manufacturer. And now, if we take a look at a video that's by the Aluminum Association, it's going to say this, that if the equipment manufacturer requires it, well, then, of course, you have to comply with the equipment manufacturer's instructions per 110.3b of the Nash Ledger Code. So let's listen to the audio here. Okay, so it's saying, look, the Association of Wires, Lumen guys, say, listen, if the equipment manufacturers have requirement beside the paste, antioxidant paste, they might even, and they're also going to include torquing. So, number four, if antioxidant is required by the equipment instructions, then it's required to be applied. And of course, that is the NEC requirement now to follow equipment instructions. Take a look at ASCO, Series 3000 Automatic Transfer Switch. Here is the operator's manual. And in this particular manual, it has, if you see the underline, requirement, remove the surface oxides from the cables by cleaning with a wire brush. When aluminum cable is used, apply joint compound to the conductors. So there you go. If you have an equipment instructions that specify, um, by the way, this is dinosaur text, uh, aluminum uh, alloy 8000 uh, does not have an oxide that requires an antioxidant. So this was something that came in the 70s, long history there, and some manufacturers have it, but I think you'll find it very rare. So let's do a quick summary here. Antioxidant is not required unless specified and equipment instructions, and those equipment instructions uh, would be dinosaur instructions. But hey, they're in the instructions. 1103B says we have to comply. All right, God bless. Hope you enjoyed this little video.